I, uh... Hi. It has been a while. I don't even remember where I left off. But the first thing I, uh, I see here... ...is the beautiful scenery. Look at all this. I probably shouldn't be playing right now, but this game, if I've learned anything... ...there's definitely one thing this game is good for, and it's great for meditation. Or introspection. I feel like I could really use some introspection right now. been, uh, I've been having an okay time, I guess. But lately there's been more and more things that have just been falling through the cracks for me. Subtle things I miss, subtle things I don't pick up on. They're subtle to me. Like everyone else finds them obvious. You ever have days like that? Ever have weeks like that? Ever have months like that? pretty vague. And I suppose that's on purpose for anything that's uh, publicly posted. Recently I've been um, I've been thinking a lot about how I I inconveniently, or I unintentionally inconvenience people. There we go, that's... That's what I meant to say. Um... And... Oh wait, that's right, there's two of these... per section, right? Well, gee, how do I do that? Like... this? Oh, actually, that's harder than it looks, isn't it? I inconvenience people a lot. And I think it's, uh, I think it's mostly because I don't communicate. I used to be this extremely loquacious person, and, uh, I, I mean, I, I guess when I'm in a setting of privacy, if I'm, uh, if I'm, uh, talking to myself, or talking to my computer like I am here, I, uh, I still talk a lot. I like to phrase my thoughts out. But, for some reason... When it comes to other people, I... I often feel like... I'm detracting from the conversation, or maybe distracting people from their thoughts... To, uh... To speak up. To speak my mind. Or say things, even if I feel that they're useful things. Now, I've felt that way for a considerable amount of time. Oh, this is fascinating. 
in it though. Um, Sorry, lost my train of thought. I felt like that for a while now. Um, where I'd rather be quiet and not disrupt other people's thoughts, then uh, this won't work. Um, then speak up, but... Only recently has it started biting me in the butt. It's... I think this is kind of an obvious life skill to have. And you'd be right. You gotta speak up sometimes. People expect you to interact with them. So what are they gonna think if you don't interact with them? Long story short, in the course of a few weeks, I've... wait, white stars? Seriously? Just playing with my expectations for this puzzle at this point. That is not quite the exact same puzzle, is it? In fact... That initial failed solution I had now works. I don't get this puzzle. been a pretty depressing episode so far, huh? Sorry. I needed time to think. Time seems to be at a premium these days. I don't know. I might be wrong. I feel like there's people I'm comfortable around where I just talk all the freaking time. I, I just don't shut up. And I don't know why I can't do that around... other people. Mostly new people. Or people I have to work with, really. Why am I intimidated? I don't know. It's not just people I have to work with, actually. I have these artificial rules in my head about when I need to shut up. When I cannot talk. When I have to be polite, or when I'm supposed to be focusing. You know, that might just be the issue here is I direct my attention to things based on on what I see the people around me valuing. Does that make sense?
This is a cool puzzle, because it's playing with your expectations from the last puzzle. But you can actually just do it like this. I don't think there's only one path through this area. You know, I just kind of instinctively went for that, but I bet what this puzzle is trying to teach me is when you have the white stars and, like, the black pieces right there, you probably... Oh, no, okay, so you can do this. I, I was, like, trying to separate out the white from the... Oh, that's what it's trying to teach me. You see that? I can't, uh... I can't put them next to other white pieces. These whites have to be paired up. Was there a racist undertone there? I, I don't know. So, whereas this puzzle, on the other hand, can be solved either way. I like this game. Like, this is good game design right here. A word, not a word has been spoken, but all the intricacies of the rules here are explained just through these puzzles where you're like, this puzzle's super obvious and there's multiple ways to solve it, aren't there? But there aren't, see? So it's kind of just making sure you understand the rules. Okay, what happens when there's a single star? Oh, okay, I bet you stars just have to be paired up with the uh, thing. Okay, um, how do I pair up? One of these stars... Uh, with one black piece, I can go up around like this, and then come down. There we go. Alright, let's make sure that's actually what was wanted. So, I... Um, yeah, I can do it this way. Oh no, I can't, because I... Uh, yeah, okay, I... I I assume that's what it's trying to teach me here. Okay, so the stars even are more complicated, and just in case you didn't need enough reinforcement that the star just needs to be paired up with one other thing of the same color. So let's cut those two off, pair those two up. Oh. Ew. Seriously? Seriously? <sighs> Multiple endpoints, let's rule some of them out right away. Can you rule any of these out right away? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Are there multiple puzzles here? Is this one of those multiple solution puzzles? Who knows? Why did I screw that up? Oh, because I didn't complete the, the completion thing. See, I, I don't really have an option but to pair up the two diagonal pink ones because...
also not an issue. Can I get off here? Oh, I can. It's just not open yet. White and black. Not everything is white and black. Let's pair up that one and that one. Puzzles are simple. There's a goal. There's a goal. There's an end goal here. I can keep track of it in short enough time period. I don't forget things. I don't understand this puzzle. Granted, I'm really distracted right now because I'm moping internally. That's funny. I thought clouds didn't move in this game. But that cloud is definitely moving. I did not notice that before. Is that like the one moving cloud? What pattern does it take? Oh, it's depressing, guys. Capable of picking up patterns like that in a flipping video game. And I can't do it in real life. Don't pick up on little cues. I gotta work on that. How exactly does one work on that? I don't know. Okay. I'm being silly. There's some basic principles I know about puzzles like this. This line segment needs to happen, this line segment needs to happen. That means that at some point I either need to come up through here, through there, okay, that line segment needs to happen. I don't actually want to make any more assumptions about that. Um, there's a whole bunch of other possibilities.
question is really just how to pair these guys up. And the thing is, every time I come through this corner, I have to make this turn. Because otherwise that line segment, second line segment can't happen. Bleh. That's gross. It's wrong. Also, I think I'm not understanding some rules here. These two black guys, as long as they were paired up, were totally fine with... What was my last solution to this? I don't even remember it now. I think it came around like this, right? Why are these three the ones that are complaining? Oh, this one's complaining because it's paired up with that one. So let's try this then. This won't work. Why not? Because of this guy. So let's do it this way then. I can't come through this corner from the bottom. I can't. So maybe like this? I mean, this doesn't make any sense, yeah. This have to have their pairs. There's something I'm not understanding about this puzzle. So, couple of rules, right? These two segments have to happen, these two have to be partitioned, and the solution is actually a lot more obvious. Right? No? Oh, fudge. How do I split up these? That needs to happen. I need to be able to come down and put myself there. Like this. Um, so just before I do that, I can come around like this maybe and then put myself around like that. This puzzle was not that bad. Did I do that right? All the whites are cut off from the blacks because um, uh, we need I'm not gonna make a segregation joke. I'm sorry. My mind's all over the place today. They're all paired up. Except for that one, apparently, which is in the same spot as a white piece. Maybe I can, uh, fudge. I can't go through this corner. I already spent too much time on this game. I didn't do that right. There's there's one that's not paired here. And there's one that's tripled up. Meh. 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 That took way too long. Oh my god, okay. Again, let's reduce this puzzle down a little bit. These three segments need to happen, which means I can't come in here, I can't come in here, I can't come in here, I can't make that segment. In fact, that 
rules out a lot of possibilities because the ending, however I end this puzzle, I cannot come up from here. Because if all three segments need to happen here, yeah, okay. Anyway, let's pair up those two. I'm pretty sure this puzzle is really easy. Oh, excuse me. The rules of the game are quite important, yes. Interestingly, I think these two segments might actually be a necessity again. This is a long series of puzzles. Physics is all wrong here. There's no way this is this thing is maintaining its structural integrity. They don't like that. They don't like that. No, they don't. This segment needs to happen. This segment needs to happen unless unless they just put a wall like that. In fact, I think that might just be perfectly okay. And except, uh, darn it, these two will complain. There, there are some restrictions on this puzzle here that I'm not fully understanding. Another case where if my character could just step down or jump. Oh wait, what the heck? I was gonna complain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bridge is actually com is this another laser? Holy moly. I remember this puzzle, I just need to Oh I can't cover things that are orange, that's right. Is that little blackened treehouse, is it burnt? Oh yeah, it does look burnt. That's another statue too. That's pretty nice. Really? Really? Oh, where can I see that from? Did you guys see that? That's such... That is so clever and so bad at the same time. Let's solve this puzzle and hopefully fix that laser. This one white piece cannot be walled off with either of these two, because it ruins the pattern. And you just heard a car horn outside my thing. Which means both of these segments need to happen, but also somehow these two need to be cut off from each other. Which doesn't make sense, which means I'm doing this the wrong way. Uh, huh? Huh? They're all paired off. Um, except for that. Okay. How's that? That's right. Okay. And this looks like another laser, except for the fact that it's not on. It's not on. 
So there is a fork in the road back there. I assume this is like the laser control room, right? How do I get in? How does one get in? There's a little thing over there. Looks like a switch of some kind. This entire segment is pretty linear, if I recall correctly. But there was a fork in the road way back over here. I thought I'd have to solve more puzzles. But in truth, I need only solve myself. Are you kidding me? Oh, is that simple? It's on a timer! Oh, that is cool, because there's no flipping way. I'm getting all the way back there, right? Huh. So there might be more to this. Well, let me try. I'll try for science. I should be able to do this from really far away, too. And maybe through this little hole. No. No, that's, that's not going to do it. Run, Rudolph, run! I believe in you. Fudge. Screwed that up. Yeah, that... That's not happening. So let's see, there's another bridge over there, and there's another bridge over there. Which presumably I have to open up. I've already spent 30 minutes here. It's probably time to call it a day. Back to the grind. You know, it's funny, um... Pretty sure all of the, uh... can put the two there and the three there. That is... No? Oh, right, I need to come around the whole structure. Forgot. Forgot how these tetrominoes work. Uh, clever ways to fit this in without disrupting it. Uh, let's put the three there and the T there, right? 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 Basically? So that just means it come around... Oh, fudge. Come around like this. Eat out that piece. Eat out that piece. Combine out that piece. And I've solved it. Oh, son of a gun. Giving me some uh, permutations to work with here. Um... Right away, I'm gonna say that this time the tetrominoes and the pink are in the same spot. I'm gonna rotate the L piece like this, and then I'm gonna put the T up there, which means I need to come up and over like that. And that. Okay, that is a very odd shape. A very odd shape indeed. I get to rotate it whichever way I like, huh? Well, that piece is four pieces long. Which means it's like that. Which actually might just work out. Because of pairs was not actually that difficult. C 
son of a gun. I probably, I have to pair this one up with this somehow. That is so bad. Do I also need to wall off these tetrominoes from each other? I don't think so. I feel like we got different colored tetrominoes somewhere a while back. Mm. So then, I'm going to put this guy in the same bucket as these tetrominoes and figure out where we can cram them all in together. Hopefully. So let's put this orange guy here. This one here. And the pink guy up top. But that also means I need to come back and do that later. Okay, so what's the shape I traced out there? This L piece and then the orange, right? Um, which means I need to make that journey. Uh, sorry, this L piece, orange. Isn't that impossible? I can't solve this puzzle. Can I? Fudge. I must be thinking about this the wrong way then. So let's put this pink guy here. This... Uh, pink guy here. Lock triplet, I can't reach. Okay, um, let's try pink and orange, just those two. Maybe? But then the L block, the only place it can fit is like right there or right there which I might be able to do actually let's swing it around that way um, yeah that don't work because it can come around like that. Oh, don't get this puzzle. This one looks simple enough. As does... looks as simple as this one doesn't. Right. How am I supposed to swing that? Oh. Is that what you were trying to tell me? Different colors of stars are just fine being next to each other. So stars are a lot less racist than the squares. But the stars are monogamous and the squares are not. That's what I'm learning here. No, I don't want to solve this puzzle. It's a mean puzzle. I still don't want to solve this. It's the same puzzle, and it's still a mean puzzle. That did not change. Not stop being a thing. How do we pair these up? That's the eternal question. I don't know. I was kind of hoping I could fall to my death here. Uh, 
Well, still a beautiful game. Still some fun puzzles. I was hoping it would do a little bit more to improve my mood. But alas, you get to just hear me mope about for the entirety of the probably 40 odd minutes that I've been playing now. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, assuming you actually did. Which, if you didn't, I don't really blame you. Like I said, the series is really more for personal documentation than it is for... viewer count. Take it easy, you lovable nerds.